I'm another idiot on the internet whose opinion doesn't matter. Let's go. Wednesday morning, Deadpool 2 just opened here in Australia. Let's go see some fucking violence. I think it might have been better than the first one. The Hunt for the Wilder People Kid was a motherfucking gangsta. Cable was pretty fucking badass. Fight scenes, way better than the first one. Great cameos in this shit, more fourth wall breaking, more Easter eggs, no spoilers. If you liked the first one, this is way better. Maybe. My fucking cable. Violence, blood, and dismemberment. Deadpool is Canada's best superhero. Deadpool, Canada's second best superhero. Third best. Celine Dion song and violence. Fan City definitely earned its hard R rating. I hope you like blood and dismemberment. One of the most fucked scenes, fucked. Sacrifice is a little bit of backstory and character development, but who really cares? We just want to see violence and comedy. TJ Miller playing TJ Miller. Ryan Reynolds kills it. There was definitely more budget than the first one. That's pretty goddamn obvious. The greatest Colossus moment, there's a convoy. Guns, swords, samurais, drug lords, explosions. It's nice to see a good solid summer family movie. Violence, comedy, violence, comedy. There's definitely a lot of use of slow motion. So this movie basically starts out with an exciting incident, and then there's some conflict, and then there's some resolution. Can't spoil it. It's a movie in an oversaturated genre that sets itself apart by saying motherfucker a lot. I wish more superheroes had basically no morals. Was it better than Infinity War? They're two different movies, and one's for kids, and one should be for kids. Is Josh Brolin just gonna basically play every bad guy? Because that would be alright. Most things you see in the trailer, in fact, happen in the movie. Some don't. Power ballads and murder. Teenage Derpa 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 Warhead is in it, and she's got an Asian sidekick. It's like a romantic comedy with decapitations. You should definitely take your children to this movie. They will learn some good words. I'm pretty sure they say cunt twice. If you're gonna get up and take a piss, you're definitely gonna miss something. I don't think I've ever laughed so much watching so many people get killed. I can't really get too much into details and plot and shit because then I'll just ruin the movie for you. Spoilers. One of these movies is just not about revenge and killing people you don't like. Spoilers. Really, that's not really a fucking spoiler. Spoiler. If you're easily offended and very politically correct, you should definitely go see this movie. There's nothing in it that will offend you. And if you're in a theater that has people in it, they're gonna be laughing over a lot of jokes that you will miss. I would probably go see this as soon as possible because people are gonna talk about shit that happened and it will ruin it for you. So either go, Fucking deal with it. Set up, pay off, set up, pay off, set up, pay off. Comedy. There's probably a moral or a lesson to be learned. Probably. Stay for the after credit scenes. They're the best after credit scenes in any of these movies. Violence. Comedy. I'm another idiot on the internet whose opinion doesn't fucking matter. Make sure you like and subscribe.